Hi, I'm Zach Keenbaum, professional sporting clay shooter for Beretta and lifelong hunter. There's a lot of similarities between shooting a shotgun and clay targets and hunting. The fundamentals are exactly the same. The mounting of the gun, the looking at the target hard with both eyes open, the matching the speed of the target, it all goes hand in hand. We work on said fundamentals by practicing on clay targets for our hunting season. Desiree Edmonds. I'm a professional sporting clay shooter for Beretta and avid wing shooter. I've been shooting sporting clays for about 12 years. Clay target shooting, everything is anticipatory. You know the flight path of your clay targets. So you can make a good solid plan before you call pull to shoot the targets. Hunting is obviously a little bit more unexpected. You're not really sure when the birds are going to come, where they're going to come from. Um, or how many or, or what flight path they are going to take. So you have to be really prepared when you're hunting and know kind of subconsciously uh, train yourself how to shoot your shotgun. Your front hand, okay? Most of your mount comes from the front hand of your, on your shotgun, okay? Left hand if you're a right-handed shooter or your right hand if you're a left-handed shooter. Taking this front hand and moving it back on the forend gives you a little bit more mobility with your left arm, okay, in order to get the shotgun out from your body, okay. What that helps with is obviously in late hunting season, we have a lot more clothes on. We've got big bulky jackets, okay, we may have some, some neck scars and things like that. So it's real easy to get hung up on your shoulder. By taking that front hand and moving it back on the forehand, it gives your front hand somewhere to go and you can pull the shotgun out from your body. One of the key fundamentals of shooting a shotgun is the mounting of the shotgun. A lot of our, our fathers, our grandfathers, whoever taught us to shoot, they talk about shouldering the gun. I think that's a little, a little backwards in that I actually want to see the gun come to my face. If I just shoulder the shotgun and get it to my shoulder and I'm shooting, my face is not down on the gun, therefore the gun's not shooting where I'm looking. Okay. Our eye needs to be lined up directly down the middle of the rib, flat down the rib so that whatever we're looking at is where the gun's pointed and what we're shooting at. As it comes into our face, it's gonna naturally come into our shoulder immediately after. We want the two to meet at the same time, but if we can get the gun coming to our face, it's gonna automatically come into our shoulder, lining everything up, making sure we're more accurate. Another tip that a lot of hunters don't take into account is, is actual practice. Whether that's taking your hunting gun out to your local sporting clay range, skeet range, trap range, and shooting clay targets in the off season, even sitting at home, practicing your mount like we've already talked about, getting the gun, pick a corner of the room in your house, pick something, a big, a large mirror, anything that you can keep your eye on and practice mounting the gun to that spot is going to be a huge advantage once it comes to hunting season getting your gun mounted quicker getting your gun mounted more efficiently getting your gun mounted more precisely to actually hit more birds this season <laughs>